Hello there, this is Judy Mario and this is the World Book Reviews and tonight we're talking with Cheryl Green, author, about surviving to thriving and how to overcome setbacks and rock your life. Now Cheryl, you also have a degree in psychology so this isn't just um, a book based on just personal experiences, it's based on your education as well as your personal experiences, is that it right? Is. Yeah, absolutely. But you know the funny thing is I. I have studied depression, I have studied all of these things, and it is not until you go through it that you truly understand. I, the, the diagnostic manuals <laughs> have nothing on personal experience. Exactly, exactly. I mentioned uh, we were probably going to talk a little bit about sabotaging oneself, and I believe that when we sabotage ourselves, it's basically based on fear. Let me give you an example. Years ago, I went to compete in a modeling competition in New York, <clears throat> and I knew when I went, if I won, I would be sent on an international trip the following day, but I didn't take my passport <clears throat> because I knew I wasn't going to win, so I didn't take the passport. Mm -hmm. And then I won the contest, and guess what? Couldn't go mm -hmm. on the international. The first runner-up had to go because I didn't have a passport to get on the plane the next day. Now that's called sabotage, yeah. but it was based on my fear the fear that uh, I wouldn't win and then people would laugh at me for having brought my passport along Interesting. thinking that I might win. Right, right. Yeah, I, I think, and I actually, I make the broad sweeping statement that I think all of the world's problems are based on low self-esteem. Mm. And I know that really is a sweeping statement, but whether we're putting ourselves down or putting other people down, I think it really all just goes back to that, how you feel about yourself. And um, and that's, I mean, that's what fear comes down to as well. You know, mm -hmm. if you're, if you don't think you're worth it, if you don't think you deserve to win that, and I, you know, your last guest was talking about that, that as well, that you, um, you get in your own way because, uh, but, well, I should say when you don't get in your own way, it's because you don't know that you can't do it. Yeah. And I, I loved that. Yeah. Um, that's, it's just, it's really powerful. Like if you honestly believe you can do something. You, you can. probably can, yeah. you know, of course. Yeah. Because if you believe you can do it, you'll find out how to do it and you'll go after it and you'll ask people to help you and you'll make it happen. But low self-esteem is, a, a, is an issue that comes out in a lot of different ways with yeah. people. Sometimes people are real bossy or they act like they know everything or whatever, and it appears to be high self-esteem, but that really isn't, is it? That, so that's always been the interesting thing. Um, people throw around the word narcissism and how you think you're actually amazing. But when you look at the you know, textbook definition of narcissism, it's actually believing you're worthless, and it just manifests itself in coming across as you know I'm I'm the best thing out there mm -hmm. so it's interesting when you when you meet that narcissistic person or the bully I mean that you're going to encounter at the schoolyard and you're going to find the rest of your life it takes it to a different level if you realize that they they're just as scared as you are Mm -hmm. That their self-esteem is just as low, uh, just as low as yours, or maybe even lower. Maybe even lower. <coughs> um, they're just taking it out differently. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, if you notice, the people who look like they're the most together yeah. are the most insecure people. Absolutely, because they've worked so hard to make everything about them appear so perfect, mm -hmm. and that sometimes they're the people we need to reach out to because they look so perfect I think sometimes we're afraid to reach out to them right. and yet they need it they need that compliment or that pat on the back or ask them for their advice as much as anyone else mm -hmm. yeah and it's it, it it's right I mean even with bullies that's that's the way to deal with them is to you know reach out and be kind and not not that that fight that you've got going exactly we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back this is Judy Morio, and this is the World of Book Reviews. Hi, I'm Jamie Lee Mapp, CEO and founder of Skin Fitness here in Las Vegas. We've been serving Las Vegas for over 17 years. We're proud to announce we just won 2017 Spa of the Year by Image International. That's the skincare company of the Miss Universe pageant. 
We offer exclusive treatments like our Time Eraser Facial, which uses multiple modalities and literally erases time. Our Pore Purge, which is the ultimate in hygiene. And our Fire and Ice Facial, which literally removes and soothes the skin at the same time. Come see us at our new location here in Village Square. We look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome back. This is Judy Mario, and tonight we're talking with Cheryl Green about Surviving to Thriving, her new book, How to Overcome Setbacks and Rock Your Life. And uh, Cheryl is a, a psychologist as well as uh, having written this book as an author, and she's written some other very good things as well. But this book is particularly good for those of us who might be suffering from low self-esteem or uh, we have a lot of fear, maybe fear of other people's opinions or fear of what people are going to think or what other kinds of fears might they be facing here? Just fear to move forward, you know, not, um, uh, not, not living your own life. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that was something I struggled with for a long time was I still struggle with people pleasing. You know, you want to make everybody happy and I mean, I, I chose my path, my uh, educational path, because of a show that my mom had watched. I didn't do my own research. I, I you know, it wasn't my passion. I actually wanted to be a nutritionist. <laughs> but someone else told me that it was a good idea, and I figured, well, I, I might as well make them happy. I bet they know me better than I know myself. And I think a lot of us do that. We just have this idea that other people know what's best for us. Mm -hmm. And that is very rarely the case. <laughs> <laughs> and I think sometimes we give in because we don't want conflict. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're afraid of uh, having conflict in a relationship yeah. or getting into an argument with another person because we're afraid we might lose. Mm -hmm. I always wonder if we would be afraid if we might win. I, I think about that sometimes because sometimes I think if we win, we yeah. still lose because the other person doesn't talk to us or yeah, something. Yeah, that's you know? true. So those, those kinds of things do happen. You talked in, in the book about uh, squirreling. <laughs> Tell us what squirreling is. Um, it's it's the, the like shiny object syndrome. I guess people will say that. And I, you know what? I'm still deal dealing with that. There, uh, there are just so many things out there that you want to do and experience and everything. And uh, get distracted. So you're busy uh, doing one thing and then you say, oops, there's a squirrel. Right? Absolutely. Or, or, oh, there's something else to do. Yeah. And isn't that a way of sabotaging ourselves? Uh, <laughs> yes. Because when we don't, <laughs> when we don't finish yeah. things, we're not, we're not really, um, we're not really disciplined right. to um, go forward and do what it takes to get where we want to go. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking, oh, that looks better than what I'm doing here, and that looks better than what I'm doing there, and yeah. then, so we make no success at all. It's true, and again, there's that, that fear of putting yourself out there. I've written four books. This is the first one I published. Isn't that amazing? It's, I was always, you know, oh, it's not ready, oh, people aren't going to like it, oh, it's not good enough, and you have to get to that point where it's like, nope, you know what, here it is, love me, hate me, you know, whatever, whatever's going to happen time to put yourself out there. Yeah, and it's a pretty good book, so you did okay, <laughs> didn't you? Tell us how, how we can get the book. So um, please go to my website. It's CherylGreenSpeaks.com, and that's S-H-E-R-Y-L. Um, and I would love to send an autographed copy. I can't do that through Amazon. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, CherylGreenSpeaks.com, and I'm also going to be doing a reading and a book signing at the Writer's Block on October. 16th. It's a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Where's the writer's block? Um, it's downtown. It's yeah. right across from in Atomic Liquors. In Las Vegas. Liquors. In Las Las Vegas. Vegas. Sorry, I always forget that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right across from Atomic Liquors. Um, and I'm really excited. A portion of the book sales are going to be going to Hearts Alive Village, Las Vegas, the animal rescue that I am very passionate about. Yeah, you're so. very involved in animal rescue. And I think that was one of the things in the book is that you talked about people getting involved in something along the, the lines, some kind of volunteerism and how yeah. that would help them learn to thrive even more. I, I think sometimes we have to get out of our own way and sometimes we have to get out of our own head. And when I was going through my lowest points, I realized that I couldn't actually help myself, but I was able to help animals and to be there to speak for 
creatures that can't speak for themselves. And on their behalf. And they helped me. And it's more. amazing when you pick one of them up and they love you. It's, uh, it gives you a lot of strength, doesn't it? I, I have uh, two kitties at home and I just got back from a long trip, 14 days on the road. And boy, they were just so excited to have me home. And I, I felt like, yeah, this is my home. These are my people, but they're really my kitties. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Yep. laughs> Cheryl, it's been wonderful having you as Thank a guest you tonight. Me. Thank you for being here. And I hope you'll come back and share those other books you've written just oh, as soon yeah. as they're published. <laughs> One day. <laughs> okay, thank you. And thank you for joining us. Are you frustrated and wasting time searching for high quality education and entertainment and not finding it? Stop wasting your time. We've got your solution. Our three dynamic and unique online TV shows provide you with high quality and easy to find content. Everything from business skills and self development to book and movie reviews and everything in between. At akexpertstv.com, you'll find high quality experts in their field. In one place, at no cost to you. Visit www.akexpertstv.com today.